Great Awakening family. Today I'm going to show you how to make, uh, or how I make, my um, morning breakfast. Remember fam, I told you, I do not eat, um, you know, the traditional breakfast or whatever. And I'm not a breakfast person. So here we go. Yeah, this is my juicer. This is my juicer. All right. So, in the juicer, I'm going to start to put my carrots. Remember, one bag of wash carrots. So I start to put that in the chamber, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to get my, um, camera for a second. So that I don't have to hold it. So this will be a quick process. So we putting in the bag of carrots. And I got something special for all of my viewers. That is wanting to trim down. Because I'm going to challenge you. I'll let you know before the video stops. What it is, that's why I'm showing you exactly what to do. Because if you've never experienced um, keto or don't know what it's about, which most people don't. Because you're just so used to um, eggs, bacon, toast, pancakes, sausages, and all that good stuff. And let me tell you something. When I get through, I'm going to let you know that uh, it ain't a bad thing. All right. So, we got um, all the carrots in the chamber. And that's how high the um, carrots are stacked. And they stacked on down, as you can see, in the barrel. Um... It won't make a, you know, big jalop of um, juice. Remember that. So, this is my uh, cup that I use when I'm um, juicing for uh, my carrot juice. And as you can see... It's measurements on this cup. So I'll let you see how much um, fluid ounces is in my glass. But let, let's do this, uh, fam. So, okay. You put the cup under the nostril like so. Then you take this. This is what pushes the juice through. And put it in on top like this. And I'm again set my camera down so you can observe what's going on. Because uh, today I'm going to use three. Everything that I show you for this um you know, particular challenge, I'm going to do it by threes, all right? Okay. So, you know, you get your um, hand. Look, when you juicing it and you turn on the juicer, right, you got to put your hand on here. Do not push hard. Just let the machine do its work, right? All right. 
and then I'll proceed to show you, you know, what else when I'm adding more than carrots to the uh, situation. So I, um, I juiced halfway down, right? See what, uh, see that? Okay. So now I'm going to take this out of the chamber because I was very severely anemic. And what I was going through was, um, pica. Pica comes from a very low hemoglobin count. So, I'm adding already peeled beets that I chopped up. I'm putting um, four in mine. So, since the chamber isn't completely full, see that? See up here, there's plenty of room. I'm going to put in some blood oranges. Yeah, that's going to be tasting really good. So, look. This peel that's still on the oranges. What I do is first cut the orange in half, then in fourths. And then all you have to do is peel like this. Look. And your orange pop through, dismiss the peel, and do the same for the other three that's left. I'll take you through it again. Look. And pull it out. Then the peel is what's left. And I'm putting the blood oranges in the chamber. I'll do it again. Pull the orange peel back. Put your orange in. Oh, and I'm going to tell you, sometimes you can go to the rummage and find you a juicer. You don't have to break the bank. I told you I'm going to teach you uh, economically how to deal with situations, you know. And uh, sometimes you can be able to, you know, substitute and find it. And sometimes you can't. Whatever the case may be, whatever I'm teaching you, I need you to pay attention to and learn it. Now, this is the thing right now. This challenge is a week long. I want you to weigh yourself. On your scale, make sure your scale ain't broke. Remember that, Libra? Anyway. <laughs> and so now I'm putting the um, pusher on with the carrots, beets, and blood oranges. Let's finish so I can get my breakfast. And I'll show you the next step of what I do. All right, breakfast is served. Remember I showed you my cup have um, measurements on it so you can see what it is and how much it is that you get. And I'm going to sit this cup down so you can see ain't no abracadabras or whatever the case. <laughs> no, I'm just being facetious. But this is how much juice you will wound up with. Can you see that? And in the um, box, because you're going to have some foam from your uh, juice. 
And uh, I drink that too. <clears throat> Excuse me, but basically we here. And so to let me know you watching and that you paying attention, I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to show you right, right here. Right here. Right here. It as it, you know, as the foam go down, it's gonna wound up. Let's make this the um challenge liquid ounces for this. Nevertheless, so how is everyone doing? Remember I did the video calm the storm before the calm. I had experienced a little something and it's not worth even mentioning what, when, or why, but an unexpected guest arrived and in the situation. So... What I did was what any, you know, body that care or have compassion for others, I extended my olive branch, opened the door, made sure you was able to bath yourself. Um, I, I made sure I cooked and everything. Do I need to do? No, just, you know, because in my house, and you're my guest. Listen, I love being a servant. I really do. Because my ministry is serving. And so, that's why I hadn't been able to complete my video. Remember when I started with my beans? So, yeah. Anyway, enough about that. So, hold on. So you remember I had got my uh my uh iron straws that I love drinking through them I really do but I didn't get them per se just because other people did but if I hadn't saw the muck bangers with it I wouldn't have knew to to get it so I'm very appreciative humbled and grateful. And I want to show you something right quick as soon as I put this straw, which won't take 2.2 seconds to put in the cup. But look, this, look, hold on, hold on. You see this? Hold on, because now, you see this? I already be washing and prepping my next meal. All together, right? Because this go deep. You can eat on a keto diet, right? And it's not expensive that you can't afford. Because guess what? Everything that's in this bowl, this is literally a week worth of food for guess what? Three dollars, right? So, I'm going to show you how I put this in the bullet with um, two other healthy, good for the body, good for you. Um, and tastes great. I'm going to show you how to do that. But you saw that for yourself, so it's like three dollars. What that is is spinach and kale, and I'm I got them soaking so when I finish my video, I could wash it, separate it in bags. Cause when I'm getting ready to come to my machines, I'm not finna sit here. And, oh, I gotta cut this up, and I you should have done did that. Nevertheless. 
So here go breakfast. And you talking about taste good, honey? And good for your body? Like I said, you know, it helps. I can help you, you know, if like if you tell me what some of your issues are, I could tell you what to put in that uh, juicer or that blender to heal you from okay so here we go here's the challenge all this week right from Saturday to the next Saturday. If you want to do the challenge. It's strictly keto. Now I'm finna weigh in for you. I'm going to show you how much I weigh now. and Because I weigh in every Saturday. And then next Saturday I'll weigh in with you guys so you can see that you don't have to struggle and be on a spiral downward going nowhere trying to eat three meals a day and listen i'm gonna show you with meals as well i'm gonna i'm gonna put a mixture to it because my advice to you in doing this challenge is to stay with the one week of liquids. That's what I want to do so you could get the most out of what you're doing. Be more effective and lose as much weight as you'd like. Then I'll come back with stage two. And show you um, how to keto with solids. And then um, you'll be able to mix up the two. One must not fly into flying. First, you got to get up on the, the uh, plane. And learn, you know, what the gauges do. So here we go. Because I keep my scale right in front of my water. Right? And I'm going to let you see. Right? Let me get on. I'm going to turn my um, scale on. I usually could turn it on. Hello. That's what I like. Hello. Yeah. And then I'm going to. You gonna watch me clam aboard. And as you can see, it's 219. I weigh 219 pounds, no ounces or whatever. Now, that's breakfast. So I'm going to come back with the second video and show you what is, um, my next thing to do with the broccoli, I mean broccoli, um, kale, I'm sorry, and spinach. I hope this was edifying, encouraging, and enlightening to all of my viewers and um, my subscribers. 
sisters and brothers, I really love you. And keto is an answer to more than just weight. It's an answer to healing your body. So, um, right now, I got on my tea. Ginger, lemon, and um, a bit of honey. Raw. 100% raw honey. I'll show it to you. One love.